So you remember this loading screen? I do uh, remember do. this loading remember, screen. Remember do. this? Remember all these icons we had to watch a couple yeah, I remember. times? I don't these remember. These company logos we had to watch over and over again. It brings me back to when Adam first joined the channel. When this game Halfway would not this game. fucking back run. Back when the channel was good. <laughs> you fool! But look at that new uh, company Ooh, logo. Powered by id Tech. STEM. What does that mean this is, Ando? I don't know. You I remember know. all these... All these logos loading up and, and hoping that the game wouldn't crash. <laughs> Just praying that it will not. This, that it'll this go whole, smoothly. The whole disc is held together by fucking sticks and duct tape. Oh, God. Welcome to The Evil Within 2, a fan suggestion by none other than our first donator, Nito King for the win. So thank you to him. And if you want to suggest a video, make sure you join our Patreon and you can suggest videos and vote on new ones. And do all that stuff. So yeah, we're playing Evil Within 2. So here we go. Chapter 1. Into the frame. No, 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 no! God, Into I left the, the fucking fire! stove on again. God damn it. I, actually I have played this seen game. nothing of this. And I did that intentionally because I knew I was going to play it. But I just needed the time to get around to playing it. Because I'm playing Kiwami Run 1 right now. And I just, I ain't got the time. Well, when you're done with that, you can borrow this off of me if you're interested. Sounds good to me. Uh, for a weekly rental rate of five ninety nine, yeah, you can borrow Ando's video games. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for for a Patreon reward, you can rent my video games. <laughs> this, oh, this is the, during the video game. The, the voice striker, actor strike. I am. Yeah. So like everyone is different. I don't know if there was anyone that was like the same. Shit, what door did I lock my family in? Oh God damn it! Oh shit! Is this my crispy daughter? <laughs> Uh, Where's my crispy daughter? No, you're just Honey my Mountain <laughs> Barbecue daughter, are you here? I'm coming, Lily. Oh, you're just my son. I'm looking for your sister. Where is she? Are you my Louisiana gold wife? Jesus. These are all KFC sauces. My sweet Hawaiian barbecue. <laughs> Lily? Come on out. Lily, where are you? I'm here. Dad's here. You weren't here for me, Dad. Hi, Daddy. You didn't turn the stove off. So early. for a sequel, also, does that dress in the back look like Mary's dress from Silent Hill Two? Uh, uh, you may. I don't know if it'll show right, it again. Rewind it. Maybe. Pause it. it may have been intentional. No. There's there are a lot more references to other things in this game than I had expected. There's a ton of Twin Peaks references in this game. Ooh, God! So Bert, Look at those men in black. Yeah, Bird <laughs> and I had a discussion about this game the other day, and I asked him, I'm like, so is the second game better than the first? And his answer was yes. Yeah, I was actually going to get to that. because it makes more sense. Immeasurably. It, yeah, this, this one's plot is a lot easier to follow. Um, because it's it's pretty straightforward, not jumbled around I like the last like one. I feel like they did that on purpose because I feel like, like well, because people bitched about it. Yeah, this intro also feels like the intro to Condemned Two, where it's like you said eh, that when we were streaming. Did I say that? I, yeah, I, you, I think like you it's mentioned a thing that. I did, yeah, because he even has tape on his hands. Yeah, I'm grizzled and I'm I'm an ex cop guy and and no one believes me about Grizz the things that I saw. Grizzle, grumble, beardy beard. I'm what Japanese people I'd think American yeah, men are. Yeah, seriously. His, <laughs> they're saying his wife, like not his wife, his uh, daughter's still alive. Yeah. And she's in STEM. So he has to go back into the machine to find his back daughter. Back in time. Gotta go back in time. Also, so remember we how we said we wanted the second game to, to, to find out a lot more stuff about Kidman? Yeah. You find out a lot more stuff about Kidman. Good. Yeah, it's more than you would think. It's it's actually really good. So I'm assuming she's like the leader of Mobius now. Uh, she's not. No, really. She's pretty no. high up. But she's high up. She's still working for them. I don't know if you actually. No, you do. At the end of the scene here, we'll see the actual owner of STEM. Oh, is it the director guy from the director? Yeah. Is he still around? Yeah. He's up there. Where? Uh, up you'll see him. There. The administrator. Well, yeah, at least they're not in bathtubs anymore. This game is no, they so are. much better. I mean, they're 
but they're not actual. They're not like dingy looking right. fucking bathtubs like yeah. last time. So Lily's the new core. Like what's his name in the last one? Oh yeah, Leslie. 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 They made his eyebrows very bushy. That's how you know he's a bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> There's not a lot of stuff that carried over from one, other than you were in STEM, and they basically need you to get Lily back. Right. I can't save her. I'm in a wheelchair. All right, here we go. Ready for my bath now. <laughs> Don't forget to scrub behind my ass, yeah. Kidman. One. I want to go through this game, and I've said this once it was announced, and I have yet to do it. Uh, oh, for shit. What? This is the first time they ever show you going into it. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, okay, this was in all the trailers. Yeah. I want to go through this game in first person mode. Because that was a thing that was added. Oh, yeah. Why aren't we doing it in first person mode? I can't yet. Why? Oh, did you tell them? It can't be until I think, like, chapter two. Did, did you like, tell. Once you get to unlock everything. Like, did you tell them what what you get for beating this game? Oh, yeah. We're playing it and we're going to play it in the superior uh, le uh, widescreen letterbox mode. God damn it. <laughs> It gets unlocked when you beat the game, and I'm like, why is that a feature? No one wanted it in the first one. Yeah. Like, it was a cool aesthetic, but when you it, it was, when you realize that there's so much of the screen blocked off by That's it, a good, like, title. That's fucking great. I love that title uh, reveal. Yep. When you're playing a game, you don't want that all the time. You want to be able to see what you need to be able to see. Yeah. I see nothing right now. <laughs> well... This game is... They, they really cut back on the budget. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't really try, huh? <laughs> they, they just phoned this one in. Hey, well, there's, there it a, is. there's a reference to the first one. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, they referenced the first game a lot. There's references, and you see, you see, like, the symbol for the hospital and sure. stuff. And, there, you know, like I said, there's stuff here and there. Like you go back to the. Like there's, there's actually um. There's actually a, uh, an and I didn't I didn't know this because I didn't get it when I did the game initially. But there he there's is, a, Shinji Mikami. There's executive a, producer. Yeah, but he's not the producer. Yeah. Executive producer is like I gave you the money to do this and like right. I have the final final say, but I'm not making all the decisions. Right. Also Which outfit do I want? Um, Ooh, big top cool classic. Guy. Yeah, we want top we cool guy. We want classic. Oh. Okay. Really going for that Alice in Wonderland on the nose reference, huh? Pretty much. <laughs> I, don't know. I leaned over and Anna's just tapping his nose with a dumb smirk <laughs> on his face. Let's -a go! Nope. Let's taco. Look at that. Where'd that door come from? Shifting spaces. Yeah, it does a lot in this part, and it's yeah, fucking great. Yeah, the, the, uh, this first part has a lot of that shit. That was the, like... One of the mechanics, I mean, if you can call it a mechanic, the game design that Features. I really, yeah, that I really liked about the first one is that like you would just kind of drift from area to area and it didn't make a whole lot of sense. And like, there's just a whole lot of fucking nonsense space. Yeah. Ooh, is that Mr. Scratch? <laughs> His brains are everywhere. They sure are. So he's just like stuck in a time loop of getting shot. In oh, the head. God. Oh. Sucks for that guy. Tasty. Well, don't stuck his ick. Don't grab his icky sticky brains. I got brains on me. Ugh. This is really weird. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Yeah. It's fucked up. And then we peace out, because that was gross. Oh, look which what direction I have to push it. But push it real good! Get it! Get it, get it! So, 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 salt and pepper's here! Salt and, salt and pepper's here! John Mulaney does You are great. unnecessarily good at that part, Adam. I don't know why. So now, holy and had shit, one second. Tell me this room doesn't look like the stairway in from Resident, Resident Evil, Evil yep. 1. Yeah, kinda. yeah. Because it is! We're in the Spencer Mansion! Except for that door right there. 
in that hallway. Well, no, that hallway is there. Is it? Yeah, it either comes from this that way or it comes from the way you just walked all in. Along. Yeah, it's just, it makes so much it's sense. It's crazy to think, like, you can look at something like that and instantly know. Yeah. So there's our villain. Mr. Camera Person, man. I really like this guy. He was fucking great for a villain. I was going to say, I kind of knew, for, again, from the trailer, you kind of get an idea of who he... Not not necessarily who he is, but his, like, his shtick. Photo murder, murder boner photography, man. Did he see you? Uh, he was about to, but it didn't matter because I'm out of the room. Oh, what's look at these there's Mr. Scratch. <laughs> I was just going to say, look at these Mr. Scratch paintings. <laughs> My favorite Mr. Scratch thing is when he's all the TVs yeah. in that big pile. Yeah. Mr. Scratch. Put more ah. TVs on my pile. So look at this one. Look at the look at it again now. Ooh. It's, it's getting real Mr. Scratchy in here. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm so spooked right now. Right? Ugh. Yeah. Ew. That's a lot of people. Christ. Ugh. Like, their heads aren't, it's like, it's roses to make it look yeah. like a blood splatter. That's gross. Yeah, that's pretty weird. Like, I really like that con, like that concept instead of making it look like blood. Yeah. Or making it look like blood, but yeah, it's fucking gross. I also don't like that they're actual bodies. Yeah, but like they're, this they're one's just cut, hung up. They're cut to look like mannequins. Yeah, that's fucking disgusting. Yep. Like they all have like the joints like cut out. Yeah, that's fucking gross. Oh, there uh, you go. That was a. That's yeah. fucking. I already hate this villain. Yeah. yeah, I know, right? I love a I love a game where it makes me hate the villain. I gotta tell you, it's vague. Look at this. Ew. Ew, no. That's okay. no. That's okay. No, thank you. Ugh. I'm very unsettled by this. Is that me? Oh, <gasps> the hell. <laughs> oh. Look in the mirror again, dumbass. Nope, he sure won't. No, that's okay. Ew. No. Uh huh. Nope. All right, see you guys later. See ya. What the fuck? Nope. Is that Yukiko? Yeah, it's... It's Yukiko. No. That's not... Also, it's, another thing. The stamina bar doesn't suck in this game. Yeah, it's really oh good God, in this. Oh, God, it's actually a working it's stamina bar. so much better. No. You're fucked. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's with the spine? I, the spine. The is, spine is really unsettling. I don't like this. I don't like what I'm seeing. That's two individual hands holding him. Yes, on one arm. There's like eight arms on one arm. Yeah. There's a side mission where you can do find parts to make a flamethrower, but yeah. I didn't do it. Is the the flamethrowers are finite though. They only have so much fuel, and then they break, and then you have to find parts to buy to get a new one. Gotcha. Yeah, it's not. Because there's enemies later on that will have, that will drop parts for flamethrowers, so. Like, I'm sure, like, it might make some some of the later stuff easier, There's I a just specific didn't care. fight that, that makes that oh. the flamethrower is very, makes yeah. very, very easy. So now we're finally in the world. What the fuck, fuck did you just send me into? I don't know. We're in the dark out here. Oh. Yeah, okay. Knowing Kidman from the first game, I'm going to go ahead and say that's a fucking lie. Yeah. And uh, she's more legit in this one. Yeah, she's a lot more legit. Yay. In your phone call with Kidman, she said that she didn't know anything. Turns out, that's a lie. <laughs> Thanks, Mari. Well, here we go. Bye bye. On the road again. So this is a... I, I wonder if it's this one. Okay, see that dead body? Yeah. In there? This is a really cool feature. Um, Poor son of a bitch. 
which I wasn't expecting to happen. The flies come out of the car. Huh. Ew. I wasn't expecting them, like, I thought they were just, like, a weird feature inside the car. Yeah. That wouldn't have, like, gone out of the bounds of the car. Right. But, but if you hit the window and they fly they out. They fly out, yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, is there going to be a ghost that comes out? Oh. No, there's no ghosts in this one. Hey. Remember that ghost in the first one that <laughs> pops out of the house for no fucking reason? <laughs> Did we ever figure out what the fuck that was for? It just happens. Like, it's supposed to be, like, memories of other people. Because, like, that, whoever it is, like, comes out of there and the whole place is on fire and she yeah. falls and dies. It's so weird. Also, this encounter in this house is a lot different in the harder difficulties. Why? Oh, really? There's, uh... Well, you'll see in a second here. I see the texture popping is still bad. Yeah, it happens. But at least this game runs better than the first one. You gotta eat this shit that that seven-year-old made us eat. It's going to turn you in one of them monsters. It'll turn you into a sexual Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> this scene it reminds me of Resident Evil 7. I was going to say, yeah. that's, that was what I was referencing. But that wasn't even out yet, was it? Was it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. When this came out? I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yeah. I didn't know if this came out before or after it. Like did we play before. Resident Evil 7 right after we played the first one? Shortly thereafter? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Oh. Okay. You missed. Yeah. Sir? You're no Leon Sir? S. Kennedy. Or Chris Redfield. <laughs> Ooh, Splorch! Yeah. I think there's like... Uh, there's like more people in the house if you play us on harder difficulties. Oh, okay. I can't remember. Oh, is this another Resident Evil part where you have to go and block up all the windows? No. Ew! Nope. Oh god. It's just gross. Ugh. Brain goo. They definitely made this game more gross. Yeah. Uh, so this is a lot more open than the other ones? It is, yeah. Or is it yeah. still pretty there, linear, linear? There are, like, sections of... Uh, like, they're, like you come into this area and there's, like, a big map of openness. And then, like, you go through and do all the mi like the main story missions there and kind of throws you to another section. Right. And, like, when you're going to that next section, it's almost like a hallway, and then there's like maybe a smaller section or something like that. So right. it's not completely open world, well, this guy's fucked. Oh, but okay. it's it's got it's got moments in it, and that's the, I think the biggest waste in potential. I think it makes sense for the game, but I feel like the ugh, I feel like there should have been more the like the I should there should have the the sections that are open. Should have like this. This open. This first section is very big and very open, and feels good. There should have been more sections of of areas this big. Oh, here comes somebody. Get the fuck out of here. You can hide in bushes in this game. Yeah. Yep. They can't smell your flesh. They also can't. No, see they don't work that light. way. I thought the flashlight, I thought they could see the flashlight. I don't know if, Bird, you remember me freaking out about the flashlight. Yeah. Thinking it was like a, a every, vital thing. Every game, every horror game where you have to sneak around, I'm always afraid that they can see the flashlight. Because we did that in the first game, too. Yeah. Yeah. I remember Bring that. You? I Bring you. So I gotta go find the little fuck that ran away and then didn't save his partner. This... This section, and tell me if I'm wrong, because obviously I'm not playing it, and uh, I haven't played the whole game, but this oh, feels cool. a lot more Last of Us. It can be. Yeah, a little bit. Eh. I, I can see what you mean. Like, um, just just its, it's scope, right? Because every area you go to in Last of Us, it isn't like a gigantic GTA open world. But you can kind of tackle enemies however you see fit in the area. So there's different ways to do stuff. 
or like you can bypass everything or you can try to kill st everything basically whatever you want to do like this is required to do stealth and at least do stealth kills because it has to introduce you into stealth kills right so this is the way they do it he here's here's the thing the the problem one of the problems with the first game I is that it anything. felt it felt like um it felt like there were sections where it wanted you to do stealth or you could do stealth but it never felt intuitive it never felt right except for maybe the few sections where you had to with the safe head guy Oof. that book <laughs> um that book was really exciting so you never really did it it was more yeah. You know, conserve your ammo, sh you know... The first game you know. is definitely more of a Resident Evil clone. Yeah. This game feels feels like it does stealth better. Right. Oh, it does, whole. yeah. And that's what I mean by, like... And that's what I mean by it being more Last of Us. It... it, it just, just from what I've seen so far, in this area in particular, there's a lot of space. It's It benefits you to use no, stealth. Closer. Put your dick away. Towards the end, like, tor not towards the end of the game, but it's like a good, like, two-thirds, two-fourths away, like two-thirds, whatever. Um, two-fourths is a half. Anyway, I know. You got 33 and a third chance. 33 and a third chance. Um, you can come back and talk to him, like, the last chance you can to talk to him before, like, shit really pops off. Um, they, they're talking, and he's like, um, like... O'Neill says something, and uh, Sebastian's like, yeah, it seems like there's really an evil within. And then they look at the camera. Uh, <laughs> uh, I never saw that. Yeah, look it up. It's fucking uh, hilarious. Uh, it, it has to be the last chance possible that you can talk to O'Neill, like, before, like, it gets, like, really fucked up towards the end of the game. It's like a little Easter egg. It's nothing... It's still, it's, that's funny. It's nothing that, like, it doesn't help move the plot across or anything. He's just like... Obviously what? not. Whoa! This yeah, there's dialogue, dialogue there's dialogue choices. I, I was surprised by that. Does this little badge say Mofos? It says Mobius. Yeah, okay. It says Mofos. So... Yeah, it says Mobos. <laughs> you could talk to him. Mobos, Phobos. And you don't have to do these dialogue options, but it opens up side missions. Some of them God, open up yeah. side missions. I didn't missions. think about there being side missions. Yeah, there are. I don't particularly care for dialogue trees. I think if you're going to give me a story, give me a story. Well, it's not important. Like, you don't yeah, need yeah. them. But, but if you want to do like extra like stuff. Mass Effect, I'm like, I don't want this to be a choose your adventure. I want you to give me a goddamn story. Yeah. I like it, like in Yakuza, where it's like, okay, you can pick the stupid dialogue option. But it really But it doesn't isn't. matter. Yeah. Like, as long as you don't completely fuck it up, you're going to... You're going to land in the same story yeah. arc anyway. Yeah. But that's, you know, when it vastly changes the game, you're like, I don't think I've ever... Oh, I should probably craft it. ...put myself so into a character's position so much that a choose your own adventure is a... I like is, it. I like it when certain things you do in the game affect what happens. Yeah. I don't, But I don't know that I think that dialogue choices should be the thing that do it. Sure. Like, when we played Silent Hill 2, like, I, I'm cool with, like, you know, oh, you read this thing, and now that adds to this this bar. And it once enhances, that bar enhances the story yeah, it, rather like, than yeah. give you a different outcome. Because, oh, like, get the good hey, ending. it's our old nurse lady it's friend. Tatiana. Oh, she has a name now? Uh, I don't think they gave her one in the first. I, they may have said it quick in the first one. It may have been referenced. I don't think. But that's that's what her name is, is Tatiana. Huh. Because he here's, calls her that, I think. Here's my thing about dialogue choices and stuff like that. I know people make fun of, like, the Mass Effect, like, oh, pick the good e good answer or the bad answer. Like, if I'm going to play a game, I want to usually want to play it, like, as good as I can play it. Yeah. So if I can, if I can know for sure that I'm picking the good answer, then I just want to pick the good answer. I want to get the best ending the fir uh, the the first time I play it. Eh, right. I don't, I don't want to go th I don't want to have to go through it again or try to like figure out uh, well I didn't do the, the this or something. Played something recently. I, I want to fuck it up. I just want to do whatever. And if it's going to get like if the game's good enough, I don't mind going through yeah. it a second time. Yeah. 
But in the day and age of you know, if, it, YouTube, if it's if it's short enough, yeah. But when you're playing something like Mass Effect, and I want to get the best ending, then I'm just gonna pick all the good dialogue choices, whether I like whether for me it makes sense with the story or not. I think I think the difference between the way, and this isn't like a judgment, but like I think the difference between the way you're playing the game and the way the developers expect people to play the game is that you're playing it to do a specific, to get a specific ending. What they're trying to suggest to you is that you do what you would do. Not necessarily right. do all the good shit to get the good ending. So I can see why. Well, the thing in, that I feel like I would do is do the good, do it, do it, you know, the most protagonist way, you know, I would, that yeah, it would be done. Like, I get it. I get that in the sense that as a player, you're trying to be able to see if there's two different endings, you're trying to see both endings. So it's easier just to do all the good dialogue choices the first time and all the bad dialogue choices the second time. Like if that's what you're trying to, if you're just trying to not just trying to see the ending, but if you're trying to get a specific ending, then yeah, in your case, in that specific case, yeah, it would seem kind of tedious. I'm just, I'm a big sucker for a good story, and I, I don't think anyone, any developer that's making dialogue trees and multiple endings is really putting in the time and effort to craft something, an experience or a deep story. It's going to be a different story for every person. And I, I mean, I, I guess that's where the water cooler discussion, co right. excuse me, comes in. I mean, do I do I want to play a game where I get to choose how this ends? I've never had that desire, so that's maybe just me. It's a taste right. thing, but you know, give me give me a good one story. I want to I want to know how this ends. I want to be like a movie. Kind of. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you there. I mean, none of the decisions you make in this matter. Sure, because it's not. They're just random dialogue. Right. It's just to, it's that just, gives you backstory on the characters. That's right, all it really right. is. Right. It's just to activate side missions and character yeah. arcs and stuff. I get that. that must be the signal of the but I do agree with Adam. Like I, I don't know necessarily that I want my dialogue options to be what change my story. Right. Because like even in Yakuza, like I'm doing a lot of side missions and stuff. And, like, there are some side missions where I'm like, I, it's like three or four minutes of dialogue of a side mission character that I'm never going to see again. Yeah. Like, I don't care about this. It is. Uh, it's also time consuming because now you really have to think about your answer, especially if you do care. Right. You're going to want to pick the right one. Yeah. And so, make the conversation good. Yeah. Uh-oh. What's this? I just said the world's falling apart. Oh, it's going It's going all slanty shanty on us again. Yeah. So I'm going to trigger a scene that I didn't know was an actual thing. Okay. That I heard is fucking hilarious. So we're going to go into this church here. Oh, you didn't go to the church? We didn't did we didn't go here in the, in the playthrough, did we? In the stream. I don't think no, I don't think we did. Okay. I did. Okay, so you know about this then, right? I believe so. Okay. I know I went to this church. I don't I don't know if we're exactly referencing the same thing. Mm, tasty. Yeah, like, this is a completely optional thing you can do. Yeah, you can totally bypass this. This isn't something that you need to do. Oh, no. Oh, okay. So, you don't need to do this, but you can also see how the infection starts with people. Because <laughs> this barely gets referenced in the game. Like, how... If they they barely I if at all show you how people turn. Right. And if you do if you don't go in here, you don't see that. It may get shown later on in the game, I don't remember, but this this is like in full detail of like someone turning. Huh. Did they explain why people are turning in this game? It's just because of Lily has disconnected from the main core. Oh, that's what so it is. So it's like because of that everything's unstable. Which is why, like, the world is exp like Matalo! exploding. Why is that guy running out the door? <laughs> <laughs> so he says, "Fuck that!" And I thought it was an like a different scene, but I guess not. 
Oh, shit! Nice shot. But yeah, you could just run out and he says, fuck that. That's could just fucking hilarious. Oh, shit, dude. Oop, I gotta go take a shit on that highly detailed toilet paper. Yeah, right. Uh, God. Cha cha cha, Charmin. I'm disappointed that those fucking Charmin commercials—they just won't call them Dingleberries. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. Call. You have a little bit left. Yeah, it's called Dingleberries, Luann. Interesting. So this is like I'm like I'm running down in like the basement of like this, like military base. Like it's weird. I like that there was a loading screen in the corner. Yeah. Mm. Now here we go and load again. You just have to keep doing that. No, it just brings me into the air. Uh, oh, okay. The armory now. Yeah. So, so that's kind of like how how when you're in STEM, that's how you get around sometimes. Like fast how, like, travel. It's like yeah, it's it's basically like oh, you find a computer, you log on the computer, it sends you into the internet, and you like fast travel to the next place. It's Guys, like <laughs> it's evil within in the internet. It's, it's evil with internet. Within yes. internet. They got it. They got internet in this one. W evil with internet. That's what it is. You're welcome. You can keep that. That's all yours. I mean, I, 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 I just said see Emperor Palpatine sitting at his desk. <laughs> Good. Yes. Good. Yes. Good. Good. Is it an evil internet? <laughs> Are they ill tempered? Bro, stick them. Here we go. Ha, ha, stick them. Oh, look at that. The stealth kill didn't work. Ew, oh, look at this Pan's Labyrinth no. bitch. No! I didn't like the head thing. Yeah, these weird, like, knife ladies, the stealth kills don't work on them. Great. Does it do any damage to them? It does, yeah, but, Oh, like, so it just takes more to kill them. Yeah. You can stealth kill them twice, I think, and it'll work. Like, that's how they work, but... Oh, uh, okay. It's mainly, like, just get fucked. Look at this guy. Ooh, he's getting rough and tumbly. Tumbly bumbly. You silly bastard. Get fucked. But that was that was a fun time playing this. That was the evil within too. Um we could do more of these. If you're interested in that. I don't think anybody well, can get hired that. Let us know in the comments below. If you want more, we can do more maybe sometime in the future. Gonna be rising in inflection? If you'd like to suggest the game, please uh, join our Patreon. Don't be like Yakuza and be like, when's Yakuza? When's, we, when's Evil Within 2? When, when's Evil Within y We're 2? We're working on it! Yakuza, uh, Sebastian never it. killed a man. <laughs> you know what? Sebastian never did kill a man because they're all, they're all mind people. Yep, they're right? all mind people. <laughs> just, wow. just like Dangle I, Grandpa 2. <laughs> I'm going to wait till I get out of the loading. Oh, okay, that's right. Remember, always It'll check be for easier. dingleberries before you get up off the toilet. By the way, since none of... just call them dingleberries. That's what they are! 